Oh, hi there. We're here out in the German woods, North German woods, smoking some North woods. What a coincidence. So, um, I'm not alone here. So, I'm with Joshua, and uh, we thought it might be a good idea to, to enter uh, the forest to search for an ancient place. And here, to be precise, I think we are already in it. So, i tell you what we're searching for. So, there you see, there's Joshua. I have to follow him, so we don't want to lose him. So, okay, uh, this place here is an old Germanic place. So, uh, this is a fortification. It was built 2,000 years ago uh, to yeah, to defend uh, their homeland, or whatever you may call it, against the Romans, the Roman Empire. So the Roman Empire was at the gates, and yeah, they they built a huge fortification here. So I give you a little view. So you can't see it probably on the video. Uh, very good, but I'll try to show you. You see, well, some kind of entrance here. And you see these, yeah, these earth walls here. And yeah, the whole ground here is covered by that. And oh, we have to watch out that we don't lose Joshua. So, and yeah, the whole range here that is 300 and. Uh, 50 meters, so fortification of 350 meters. Imagine that 2000 years ago. So that was huge. Yeah, they tried to stop the, the Romans there, and it worked. So, okay. Well, perhaps you may see here the trenches here. Yeah. So, there are different circles here. And the thing is, that people here in this region, and, and even scientists, they, they didn't know what this huge fortification was built for. So, they wondered about that several hundred years. But now they did some new researches, and they found out that it's, uh, yeah, Germanic construction against the Romans. So, uh, Joshua, you're right. <laughs> Strange to be here in the northern yeah. woods. Here we are. Here we are. It's good to be in the woods. We can breathe. <laughs> we can breathe fresh air. Fresh air or north woods? Both woods, north woods. Both. <laughs> We've been in the city air for a couple weeks, so it's been, it's nice to just get out. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Let's go on. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back to you. Ah. We should call that out in the mud. Guys, Joshua in the woods and Raymond Pipe Smoker. Hope you guys are well. So we are. We are. We're in a Germanic. Germanic. A 2,000 year old Germanic fortress. Uh, you may be able to tell from the background a slight uphill. So that uphill actually surrounds us. Um, you can see it on all sides, and that is a ancient wall. And we are sitting in the center of it, in the bog section. 
and we're breathing the fresh air. Mm. <laughs> and some from McClellan's. Mm, right. We're uh, smoking uh, wilderness. Yeah. You want to tell what it is? McClellan wilderness type tobacco. Shall I read it? Yeah, like your channel. We have to read it, right? But I, I'll, I'll, your, I'll your translate video it. Also, <laughs> I'll, tra <laughs> I'll translate it into German. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> okay. This remarkable blend formulated by Fred Hanna provides a multi-layered, rich taste experience. The highest quality Syrian Latakia combines with small amounts of Cyprian to form the base of an exquisite array of rare and precious Orientals, sweet drama, ex 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 exotic Yenije and more. Red Virginias complement the blend, adding sweetness, richness, strength, and creaminess. Smoke this mixture and listen to the echoes of savored memories. Well, oh, we do that. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely. I can hear the battle cries now. Yeah, <laughs> that's a battle cries. <laughs> yeah. So. No, it's a good uh, one. Yeah, it is good. It is good. It's it's light. But that I, I guess that I've never had Syrian Latakia, mm. so that it's it's very light, very easy to smoke. So we had the uh, uh, the northwards, northwards before, yeah. and perhaps we, we we should have done it the other way around. Mm. So, okay. but we didn't knew. Yeah, we didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So on the way here. Um, uh, I was mentioning to Mark about a video that um, Leo Aldepold had done talking about the UK forests and how things are done there. And Leo Aldepold made several mentions about how the way the Germans treat their forest he really appreciated. So I asked Mark about it and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, and maybe you can kind of open up um, because you know in Germany it's it's very much there's so much farmland um, and then you get these small little sections and generally from what I've seen they're usually only about a couple miles long or so they don't go too far of these patches of woods um, so, so farming is normally quite small right. especially here in this region mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the reason is that when someone died, so that he, he divided the land for his sons. Mm -hmm. So it was cut. So after generations, the fields got smaller and smaller. So these are small farming. This is small farming agriculture. Mm -hmm. So we don't have so many huge farms. So these are mostly family farmers, right. and they, they have some kind of appreciation for, I don't know, for their little world, mm -hmm. and even for special trees. Yeah. So what I told Joshua is that very often you see a little farm surrounded by oaks, so these oaks are to protect the building yeah. uh, from lightning, from storm and others. And um, then you have a, a field nearby, and sometimes you see a single oak uh, right in the middle of the field. An old family tree. Or so. I, I don't know that. It's so. <laughs> not a tree for hanging. So, but <laughs> no, but um, yeah, it's not, not easy for them to go around that. But right. well, they don't cut it. So uh, that's sometimes something I think about. So. Yeah. I was, don't they uh, cut it? So. I was mentioning um, after Mark said that in, in India, in smaller villages and smaller towns, they won't cut the trees to build. They just they build around them. So you'll find these temples and even houses with courtyards in the with a tree right in the center of the temple courtyard, and it's an open roof because they wouldn't cut down the tree. So it's, I guess that's pretty similar where you have. A certain respect for a certain tree, and you won't. I'm not going to cut that one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it spreads even in some kind of, of old fashioned. So. Yeah. 
So that's a professor of mine always told that he always said that all the Germany was, was never Christian. <laughs> so I don't know that. Well, yeah. it's yes, there's something about a nature habit or something that they going out under the trees. So even if they they have some some religious days, they like to go out and preach under the trees. Yeah. That's strange for, for you wouldn't. I think you wouldn't see that in Italy. Yeah, they were connected to. The there is some kind of connections of mm -hmm. the Germans to trees, especially right. to trees. Mm. The woods, but for trees, I don't know. The the whole um, the whole environmental movement, so the green movement, uh, that was driven by uh, by the fear of losing the trees. Mm. So that was by Scherben. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. Mm. But forest died. Sour, I mean. So you you were mentioning on on how the trees like because you know there are certain sections of you go by these patches of woods and you can see that they cut in certain trees. Mm. You know they don't level them, no. but you can see that they cut and they replant here and there. So yeah. so I think you were mentioning how they won't they won't cut a whole you know. Normally, normally they won't. Yeah. So the normal thing is, you see, certain trees are marked for cutting. Right. So, um, and that's for not disturbing. It is also for for some kind of forest farming. Right. So they they sell the wood. Sure. So sure. Uh, it's even used. Fam yeah, it's used, and they even families they live by that. They live by the forest, yeah. but they don't cut certain parts of the forest yeah. and renew it and wait another 40 years. Right. They cut single trees. Right. So it's, it's more respectful in that way, actually. It's, it's, it's courteous to the forest, actually. Yeah, if they do it from that or if they do it because it's more effective. Sure. So, yeah, so they, they, cut, they cut a single tree when it's time to cut this one. So when it's at its best. Yeah. So, uh, but of course, you, you need techniques uh, to getting it out of the woods. There's a tradition of that. So they did it with, with, uh, with very heavy horses in the old days. To, to, to get a whole tree out of the forest. That's not easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Should we take another walk? Yeah, we should walk. Um, yeah, it's beautiful here. It's beautiful here. I, I was mentioning um, to Mark that when I come to Germany, I'm, I'm, I'm in Bremen, which is a small city. Um, not small. Is it a small city? No. <laughs> it's a big city. It's a big city. Compared it's to like Hamburg. More than half a million inhabitants. Okay, so it's a big That's city. That's not that small. Yeah. It's not Los Angeles. We are a Angeles, state. <laughs> So, <laughs> when I'm there, I'm there for usually, you know, several weeks, and, and, I, and I, you know, I spend all my time in the city, so I live next to the ocean, and I have, you know, I have a lot of view, I have a lot of open space around me all the time, hills and mountains I can see kind of broadly, so I'm not used to city life. Mm. So after a couple of weeks in the city, I start to get really claustrophobic, and Germany is a little bit more cloudy than mm -hmm. Southern California. So <laughs> I, have, I have to get yeah, out. Really. Is. So Mark is uh, pulling me out and uh, taking me out in, into nature. So with that, I think we're going to hike a bit, um, enjoy the views. So hope you guys are well. This will be the uh, German edition, and. Uh, I'm sure through the years we'll have many, many more. It's going to be fun. Yeah, we're already talking about future videos for <laughs> coming years. So. Yeah. so we're planning on that. Yeah. But now we have to leave because the rain comes. <laughs> it's going to start coming. Yeah. The dark clouds. Yeah. Okay. So. Peace, you guys. Take care. Thank you, Mark. Be well. Yeah. And perhaps 
See you again. See you again. <laughs> Let's head off. guys hello just a short goodbye huh. so Josh was leaving uh, and we just sitting in and enjoying the, the rest of the sun <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you can be sure that the sun just don't warm us it's not warming us no. <laughs> Showing us things, though. <laughs> well, that that's at least something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a beautiful scene here. Yeah. That's an, an, an ancient uh, cemetery, several thousand years old. So perhaps you might see on the video this little hills. So normally the landscape would be flat. These little hills. So under every hill, uh, there's a buried. Last shot, we, we got a heavier rain, yeah. really heavy rain on, on our way back to the car. So, yeah. adventures, fun adventures for the day. Yeah. So, um, but no video without talking about tobaccos. Yeah. What are we smoking? So, smoking something special. That's a McCraney's Red Ribbon, and it's a harvest of uh, 1983. It's an aged tobacco. Um, was given to me very kindly by uh, Jim. Thanks again, Jim, for that. I thought that's the right moment. To yeah, it. it's. Uh, I am not a Virginia smoker per se. Not predominantly Virginia-based tobaccos, and this is this is a fantastic tobacco right there. Very good. Very good. Yeah. After actually, all these uh, years, and I said to Joshua, after all these years, everything you could ever complain about when it comes to Virginia is gone. Yeah. And Joshua smoking a new one. Yeah, it's my first smoke of a uh, radice, radice rind. Um, picked that up at Ronnie's place. I thought that this time. Summer in California. Is I, I was I was riding my bike 
so cold the other day and I thought, <laughs> why did I do this? Like, why, <laughs> why don't I come here in the summer? So, yeah, I think I got to start planning more thoughtfully a little bit. Well, your, your kids should stay in California, for, let's say, for autumn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come for winter or something. So, yeah, well, next time. Okay, guys, take care, be well, and perhaps see you again. See you again. Peace.